Hi, you guys. It's Kimberly. I have a major mess on my desk. So what I am doing is I'm making these little envelopes for the ATCs that I'm getting ready to send out. So what I can do is slip the ATC in this side and then on this side I can either put a second ATC well it's tight I could do it if I didn't glue the edges so tightly I really wasn't planning on putting a second ATC in here, so I really wasn't paying attention to how tight. This is a playing card. Playing cards are the same size as an ATC. So you could potentially put some, might, like most of the time when I trade ATCs, we do two for two. Um, so you could put two ATCs in the same envelope, which I might do. But what I was thinking I could do is put, um, I always send extras, extra little goodies. So say I wanted to send some embellishments. So just for an example, if I wanted to send, you know, some embellishments, I could slip them in here. If I, you know, I usually always send one of my business cards so I could, you know, stick that in there too. And there's a fun little package. So this is the first one that I made. And um, so I was just kind of playing around seeing how I wanted to design it. And this is some jelly paper that I had made, some just some copy jelly paper. And um, so I just kind of cut it cut it to size and glued it on here and then an afterthought was to stamp some images on here. So my stamping is kind of wonky because this, you know, isn't really a flat surface to be stamping on. So, I mean, it's still cute. I'm still going to send it out like this. I like it. So then what I did is I took another sheet of jelly print and I stamped my images first and then I cut it to size. So I did that on this sheet and I did it on this sheet and then I cut my paper. So I have six more ready. And so I am, I'm just gonna pick out another piece of jelly paper and do one with you guys. Yes. So let me get my jelly prints. Pick out another one. It's kind of cloudy right now outside, so I don't know how good my lighting is. I have the windows open. So let me get one that's a full page. A lot of these are just where I cleaned off my sprayer. Um, I'm going to do this one, the stars. It's not real busy, so I could do a lot to this one. So let's do some text. My allergies are just like 100% kicked up today. Let me go in a little. You're probably wondering why don't they boil that squeaky door? Well, it's because we can hear people come in and out. That's why we don't. We like to be able to hear it open and close, so that's why we keep it squeaky. And plus. The kids aren't allowed to go into the front yard 
And so if they ever were to walk out the front door, I would know it. So that's why we keep it squeaky. So I'm just gonna randomly place this in different places. And I am gonna go off the edges. On the first one, I wasted a lot of paper because I cut the edges off and then I thought, you know what, I'm not gonna do that because it's mixed media. If you have white on your edges, who really cares? Right, the white border around the edges just adds more interest. And I don't necessarily want this um, stamp to be dark. You don't necessarily have to be able to read it just you just need to know that it's there right because it just adds dimension to your piece we're going to cut it up so you're not going to be able to read the whole thing anyways but just knowing that it's there makes me happy and that's what mixed media is it's, you know it's not about perfection it's just about what makes you happy Okay, so I'm going to take this flower next, and I want some pink in there, because I like the lime greens and the pink. And I am going to just lightly, this is one of my color box chalk inkers, and you could do this with paint too, I just happen to have my ink tray um, out. See, and it's not gonna be a perfect flower, and I don't want it to be. I just want the image to be there. I don't want it to be perfect. I just want the color and the dimension of it. I'm going to go off of the sheet in different places so that it just looks like a continuous print. And I really like these color box chalks because you can get so much out of one dabbing on to the... Um, stamp. That's what I like about them. So we could add more to it, but I'm kind of thinking that that's enough. You could, and what I did on one of my papers, this one, is I went in and I wrote love in some of those hearts. So we could go in here and do you know, a little bit of doodling. Like I could do some swirlies inside My gel pen is gonna clog up every now and again. And I don't have to do it in every single one of these stars. But I could definitely go in to some of them and just give it a little bit more interest. Add some white back into my paper. And I think that at first when I jelly printed this, I was like, oh, well, that's kind of plain. But see how just adding some more color with stamps, how interesting the page becomes. So when you're jelly stamping, you don't have to add color on every square inch of your page when you're doing it. You can leave some of them with white on the background and then later on, you can add more color with stamps or more paint for whatever project you're going to use it for. You don't have to make all of your decisions right then when you're doing your jelly prints. It's not necessarily, because look how awesome this looks. By just waiting until you decide what you want to use it for. I had no idea when I made this print that I was going to be using this to make these little bags for my See how the cards. white border kind of just disappeared? And I didn't waste that paper. So I 
me measuring doesn't make me happy. I'm just not happy if I have to measure. And what I found with this paper, I was cutting this paper um, horizontally, but I was wasting more of it. So what I discovered is if I cut it vertically, no, if I was cutting it vertically, but I just discovered if I cut it horizontally, I save more paper. So I'm gonna take the pieces that I've already cut. First of all, I know that this paper sack is actually just about three inches wide. So I'm gonna cut it just under three inches. Right, so I'm gonna cut all of my strips just under three inches. And guys, it doesn't have to be perfect. If you want to make it perfect, make it perfect. You have to do it the way that you are happy. That's what crafting is all about. That's what art is all about. Do things that make you happy. And then that's what I have left, which of course I'm gonna save. Okay, so I have, I can make three envelopes out of this sheet of paper, right? So then I have three pieces that I've already cut out for another one. I'm not gonna measure these because measuring makes me grumpy. I just, I have the patience for a lot of things, but I don't have the patience to measure. So I'm just gonna take the pieces that I've already cut and use them as a template and measure this out. And it would probably be easier just to leave the whole sheet together and just cut once, but it's not the way I do it. This is the way I do it because this is the way that works best for me. This is the way my mind works. Okay, so then I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna line these cuts up and I'm just gonna trim them. Find my next mark. Can you guys see what I'm doing, kind of? Oh, I have so much crap on my desk. And I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna go to my next one. People are shooting firecrackers and my dog is scared and she's kind of under my desk now. Okay, so there's one. And I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take and use the one I just cut as a template. It's okay, Ruby, I'm sorry. It's gonna go on all weekend, sweetie. Wish they made doggy air, blog, air plugs, put them on her. She just hates the fireworks. Hates, hates, hates it. We um, used to go up to our friend's house in Winter Park. They had a cabin and um, we would go stay up there on the 4th of July. We did it for a couple of years anyways. And we would take her with us. And I don't know if that was better for her or not, but because she would get underneath the seat in the car. We would go and watch the fireworks over the lake up there. And you know, it seems like the, as she ages, cause she's gonna be 13 this year, it seems like it gets worse and worse for her, the fireworks. So we can't leave her. We have, we have to stay with her. We used to be able to, um, like if we went somewhere and stayed um, like at a bed and breakfast or something, this is before we had the girls, we could leave her in our kennel wherever we were staying. We always took her with us. And she's really, she was really good to travel with um, pretty much. I mean, she always gets car sick, but that's something that we could deal with. But now we can't, I mean, we can't. I, I have to stay home with her. So this year, 
the girls are going to be with their mother. Oops, did I, what did I do here? Why didn't cut that too short? Why does it seem too short? See, I get to talking and I lose my track. I've lost myself. See, why is it, why is this one too short? What did I do? Guys, you're supposed to keep me on track here. This one's the right size. Why are these ones so short? Oh, Jiminy. Okay, so I'm gonna quit talking so much. These ones are, what did I do? These are okay, but why are these so short? Okay, I gotta cut two long ones because for some reason, Somewhere along the lines here, I messed up. I don't know how. I need to cut that one there. So I don't even remember what I was saying. Okay, so that's a long one. And let's cut a long one. But anyways, she, um, the girls are going with their mom, which, It's hard for me to let him go, but I have to let him go. Okay. So we have that one. Ay, 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 I'm losing my mind. Oh, okay. This one. get two out of that one. Darn. Find the pieces I could piece it together. I might have to piece it together. I liked that one too. I'll be able to piece them together. That's what happens when I start to talk. I can't walk and chew gum at the same time I guess. Okay, so you're probably wondering what the, where I got these little bags. Well, this is where I got them. Ace is the helpful place. My helpful hardware man gave them to me. Well, he didn't give them to me. They're free. And since I paid... $70 for two quarts of chalk paint. These were my bonus bags from Ace's Place. Um, I didn't steal them. They know that I took them. And um, they were okay with that. They're the bags that you put when you buy your um, nuts and bolts in. Those are the bags that they come in, so they were okay with me taking as many. I go to um, the Ace. Now the Ace in our town doesn't have them. They use the plastic bags, but me and my, um, which is too small, when he, my husband's owned it for, ever um, before we got married he had lived in it for many many years but then when we met I moved in it and it's just a one bedroom and it was small for the two of us but um, we we did it I mean we were living in it but then when we got the girls there we lived in it for like eight months with the girls and oh my goodness we were so squished in that thing but then we um, rented it out and we that's why we rent a house now 
because it the condo is too small for all of us and so we rent out the condo and rent a house the girls and Scott are out front riding bikes so that's why you hear the in and out and so um, we used to go to the neighborhood ace all the time and actually one of the girls that works there we went to high school with her me and Scott went to high school together and one of the girls that we went to high school with has worked at that ace forever and so that's where the, the ace in our neighborhood up here in Fort Lupton doesn't have the Amy Howard chalk paint so we were in Lakewood by our old condo one day and that's where we got the chalk paint for my desk when I just recently painted my craft desk and so um, and they know us in there because we remodeled the whole condo and that's where we got so much of our supplies our paint and stuff so they know us in that case and they're really you would think that the small town we live in that and they're nice they're they're really super nice in in the hometown ace but they're super nice at the lakewood one which you would think it would be the opposite right because lakewood's a big city but they have just always been so super nice at the lakewood ace but anyways they're like oh yeah take you know you can have as many of those bags as you want so of course Whenever I need those little bags to craft with, they just let me take whatever I want. But anyways, they and paint chips. I can take all the paint chips that I want. They don't. They don't care at all. Um. So anyways, they. What was I even getting at? Oh yeah. So it's these little bags. So see, you can you mark what you got. You know, your item number, how many, and then the price. So that's what these are. So some aces use plastic and some use paper. So you can't get these at every ace, but just make sure, you know, you ask them if it's okay for you to take these because I wouldn't want you to get caught stealing. And um, so that's what I'm using. Now you can probably buy these. I'm not sure, I've never looked. And I've used other things to make these. Like I have a template that I got offline to make envelopes. And then I've also made bigger, I've made these out of lunch bags, um, which I have some pictures of. They're bigger, you know, they're the typical lunch bag size, but you can slip a couple ATCs in them or just any kind of goodies or um, cards if you don't want to send somebody a, a gift card in the envelope it came in if you want to do something more decorative like this You can you know just Do something all cute and fancy you can put their name on it and then you know you can slip the card in here You can slip the card in here and then you know put a tag or something more fancy in this pocket Put some goodies in there. That's what I do You could use this for this would make a really cute wedding invitation envelope. You could do so much with this. So that's my idea. So let's put one of these together really quick. Roll up my sleeve. So what I do, this is the back of the bag. So when I put it together, I do it, I roll it up like this, right? So this is the fold and then I roll it up like this. So the first thing that I glue is this part I did find those fine liner glue bottles on Amazon and I put them in my wish basket so hopefully some, at some point I'll be able to go and um, purchase and they're kind of pricey but Okay, now I'm not going to flip that up yet because I want my paper to go underneath the flip. Okay, so I'm not going to flip that up just yet. But before I do that, I'm going to go inside, right? Because I want my card 
to slip in here, but you don't want it to get caught up on the um, W shape inside your bag. But I want this little half circle tab, I want that to be the side that I slip my card in on. So I'm gonna go in here and on this right side of the W, I'm just gonna give that a little glue shut. I'm not gonna go all the way to the bottom of the bag. Just gonna do a little bit on the top portion of the bag. Just so that the person doesn't get caught up on that. So now see only, well, after it tacks. And then I'm also gonna go on the outside of the W. necessary this is but it's just the way that I do it so now when the card slides in it's only going to open in one place okay so now I'm going to flip this back open and my medium size piece of paper this one it's going to go on the back right here now if it's hanging over too much and you, I like a little bit of my paper bag to show. I'm just gonna trim some of that off so that I could just have a little bit of an edge of my paper bag shown. Now I'm only going to put glue on the edges and you only want a fine line of it in case you decide that you want to stick the ATC in this pocket on the back side. I use the Elmer's Craft Bond which grabs pretty darn quickly. You could use hot glue if that's your choice, tape runner if that's your choice. saturate this that your opening is big enough. And then all we have to do is put this piece on. And 
this one was going to fit. Now see how we have this little opening, this little cap spot? Well, I want to keep that. So I am going to use my um, one inch circle punch. I'm going to get this in the center and I'm going to punch this. Now this punch always likes to jam on me, so let's hope that it doesn't do it. Yep, it's going to do it. I think maybe the girls may have gotten some glue or something stuck in there. try to do some sandpaper that might sharpen that up it seems like it's just not wanting to cut through fine paper anymore okay so there that is all I'm gonna do to it and it looks just mighty mighty cute like that so my ATC slides in there ATC It's a tight fit, but it goes or other goodies can slide in there. Okay, so there you go. Another idea for some ATC tight envelopes. I will finish up the rest of these and I will put some detailed pictures. You could also, if you wanted to, because down here you can see where it says the helpful place. Can you guys see that? which that doesn't bother me, but you could definitely ink these edges if you chose to. I'm not gonna, but if that bothered you, you could. So I'm gonna finish up the rest of these and I will put some detailed pictures of all of them at the end of this video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that quick little tutorial on how to decorate these little mini envelopes and please have a good morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are in the world and God bless. Bye-bye.